Hello, Bethel Church. It is uh, Friday morning, and uh, it's my turn to share a devotional thought with you today. Our pastors have been taking turns sharing some devotional thoughts each day to you, and we'll continue to do this during this time. And it's a privilege to be able to try to connect with you in this way and to share some thoughts from God's Word. Uh, I hope that you're all doing okay. I know these are very interesting days and uh, we'll pray and we know that God will help us to get through them and that he is with us during this time. And so uh, let me just share with you a, ver a very familiar psalm this morning, one that you're all aware of, but it's a very powerful and comforting and encouraging psalm, uh, Psalm 46. It's a psalm that David wrote and uh, out of his own experiences when he experienced that he needed help and God was there to help him. So let me share this with you. God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within her, she will not fall. God will help her at break of day. Nations are in uproar, kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice, the earth melts. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come and see the works of the Lord, the desolations he has brought on the earth. He makes wars cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. I love this Psalm of David. We know that David uh, had a time in his life before he was king, he was uh, running from King Saul. King Saul wanted to kill David and was hunting him down and David and his men hid in the desert and uh, found a place of refuge. Uh, we visited that place when we were in Israel recently. It's a place called En Gedi. And there, in the middle of this dry, barren desert, there is nothing out there, real close to the Dead Sea. There's this beautiful spring that cascades down the mountainside, down this little ravine, this little valley. And that is the, the springs of En Gedi, a little bit of an oasis in the desert. And that's where David hid when Saul was chasing him. And it became his place of refuge, his safe place, a place where he could hide and be safe. But even as David did that, he realized, as he says in this psalm, that God is his refuge. Uh, the safe place of En Gedi really wasn't his refuge. God was his refuge. God was the one that was looking after him. God was the one who was his source of strength. God was his ever-present help in trouble. And that's an encouragement to us because we're going through times that are troubling with this virus that seems to be sweeping our world and many more people getting sick and, and people dying. You know, it is a time of trouble for our world. And yet we know that God is our refuge and strength. He is our ever-present help in trouble. In the trouble that we're going through right now, God is our ever-present help. You are not alone. Even though we can't get together as a church body and worship together right now and have to worship online, God is still with us. He is still an ever-present help for us. It says here that though there, therefore we will not fear, though the earth give way, and we experienced that this week too, didn't we, with an earthquake. The earth shook and w when that happened, it kind of makes us feel helpless. But it doesn't have to make us fear, feel fearful because God is with us. He is our ever-present help in trouble, even if that would happen. Even if a virus happens that is making a lot of people sick, which is happening in our world right now, God is with us. He is our ever-present help in these times of trouble. It says there is a river whose streams make glad the city of God. And oftentimes in the scripture, the rivers are, are symbolic of the presence of God, God's Holy Spirit. And that's how God is with us. He is our ever-present help because he, God, the Holy Spirit, is with us. Like a river that flows in us and through us and all around us, God is with us. This river of life, the Spirit of God is with us and uh, he'll help us says here in the scripture that God is within her, she will not fall, so God will help us so that we won't fall during this time, that we'll be able to stand strong and we'll be actually be able to come out of this time stronger than when we came into it.
because we know that God is with us and he is our fortress. Toward the end of the psalm, David says, speaking for God, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted in the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. David realized that during this time when God was his refuge, it was also a time for him to be still and to know God. And while we have this time when we have a lot more time on our hands, a lot more time at home, and uh, we need to make sure that we're still and know that God, know that God is God. Take time to worship him. Take time to pray. Take time to, to read his word. Take time just to be in his presence, to acknowledge that he is God and to praise him. Um, this could be a great time for us, even though it was unplanned on our calendars to have this time when we're stuck at home, but it could be a great time for us to get to know God better. So take advantage of this opportunity so that we do come out of this time closer to God than when the time came. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. So as you go through this Friday, I, I hope you have a great Friday and uh, uh, you experience his presence and have time to be in, in his presence and worship him and be still and know that he is God. That I hope it's a great day for you. And uh, we will be talking soon here. And uh, I pray for God's blessing on you this day. Uh, we'll talk later. God bless.